We all know that humans are male and female, but down the line, a third gender has evolved. How did it come up? Whose fault is this? Is that the question you're facing? Now we are going to deal with that. Before we go further, I would like to refer to the statement Jesus Christ made about eunuchs, our transgenders. They are called hijras in Urdu. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 11, Jesus said that eunuchs are there because of three reasons. Reason number one, they are born like that. Reason number two, they are made. And reason number three, they become like that. What do you mean that they are born like that? Now, it's definitely a deformity. All the deformities that are existing in this world, they are there because of the consequence of sin. When I say sin, I mean the sin of Adam. All the diseases, all the problems that are existing in this world, it's because of the curse. It need not be the person's sin or it need not be the parent's sin, but definitely it is the sin of Adam. That much we should understand. So that's the reason, number one, it's a deformity. It's a disease. That's what we have to understand. The second one is they are made. In olden days, kings used to castrate some people who are very close to the queen because of protection. They may be having insecure feelings. That's the reason they do like that. That's the reason some of the scholars believe that people like Daniel, Daniel, Nehemiah are eunuchs. The third one is they become eunuchs. In olden days, monks who wanted to live a perfect life, who wanted to get rid of all kinds of entanglements, they try to castrate themselves and they live in monasteries. And that's how for the sake of ministry, some people become eunuchs. So that's how these are the three ways people can become eunuchs. But when we are understand, when we are looking at this, we have to take this in one thing into consideration. When God gave human beings his image, his image has nothing to do with the physical body. Man and woman, both are in the image of God and God is spirit. God doesn't have any physical body. So what God gave us, it is something metaphysical. It has nothing to do with the physical body. So the transgenders still have the image of God that we should understand. That's the reason God the Father in Isaiah chapter 56 verses 3 and 4 makes this statement. He says that no eunuch should say that I am a dry tree and I am useless. And he gives them a great promise. And he says, if you can follow my commandments, I will give you a better place than the daughters and son, the everlasting place in my heaven. It's an amazing commandment that has a beautiful promise. If you can keep my commandments, I'm going to give you a very good place in heaven. That's the promise to the eunuchs. So that's what God the Father said. Now Jesus Christ said, this is a mystery nobody can understand. If you want, you can accept it. That's what Jesus said. Now when it comes to Holy Spirit, in Acts of the Apostles chapter 8, when a Philip was going in one direction, he was asked to move in a direct, different direction to meet an Ethiopian eunuch and he presented gospel to the Ethiopian eunuch who ba was baptized on that day. In fact, he became the first known African believer. It's amazing. So thus the triune God are for the transgenders. So if you are a transgender, now take this, amazing. If you can commit your life to Jesus Christ, you have an everlasting place in the heaven. So you can come to Jesus Christ. Regarding this, if you have any questions, you want any prayer request, you can chat with one of us. If you are not a transgender, I request you, don't look down at any transgender. They still have the image of God.